uh, in moving Jelani over was to try and get some length there, try and uh, take advantage downfield. Jelani's athletic. He's actually played tight end before. And let's start with him. He seems enthusiastic about it. You no, know, the thing I appreciate about Jelani, he's got a smile on his face every single day. And he came in as a quarterback, and anytime a guy comes in a different position, and uh, he's, he's, he's down on the scout team, he's repping quarterback. But then towards the end of the season, the defense side decided to move him up tight end and to give him that length and give him a look. So I would I would see Jelani up and down the hallway, we'd talk a little bit. But I could never get a five if he wanted to talk to me or, or which way he wanted to go. So I kind of left it at that. And then uh, as a staff, we talked about moving him permanently during bowl practice, so give him an extra 15 practices in January. So we decided to do that. And I remember when Jelani came to my office and we made the, pulled the trigger to do it. And, and Jelani looked at me and was like, "Well, I was just wondering. I was just wondering when you're all gonna, you know, come in and find a good time to talk to you because I wanted to move the tight end." And so I said, "Hey, what do you think?" And he's like, "No, I'm super excited. And, uh, I played tight end in high school, and so I'm very familiar with it. Uh, you know, he comes to work every single day. And the thing I." I think I really appreciate about him, he's got a willingness to block. You know, his frame, his size, he's already up to 261 pounds. He put on 28 to 30 pounds of muscle and dropped his body fat in first class. So he went from the quarterback workouts over to the cowboy back workouts and just automatically changed his body type. So uh, I think he gives his length out there, you know, flexed out, and then he also, uh, you catch him you know, to the inline tight end spot, wing spot, long levers, and can do a lot.